<laughs> yeah. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm back with another horror video. KB 2.0. <laughs> it's a pineapple horror video. Let's see how bad these pineapples are. But before we get into the video, I'm going to need you to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to need you to hit the notification bell because that's very crucial. You're going to get a message in your phone that lets, lets you know that I dropped another banger for you. You'll be like, oh, he dropped another video. I'm already watching it. <laughs> that's all you need to know. I'm going to need you to like this video. Comment down below more videos you want me to watch. Because we're watching this together. This is for you. <laughs> if you don't like my reaction, just go inside my description. Right next to the thing that says link to the original video. Click that link. You can watch it yourself. <laughs> I'm not forcing you to do anything. But we're going to get into this. We got to see how bad these pineapples are. Because I'm a pineapple guy. I love pineapples. I ain't going to hold you. My favorite fruit. But we're going to get into this. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's find out. I remember waking up in a steel cage, locked inside a limitless white room. The room looked like, like it had no end. Just my bed, the cage, and a swarm of distorted figures surrounding me. There were hundreds of them, and they all looked like they were possessed, like something out of the movie The Exorcist. Ah. Where the hell am I? The hell? This can't be real. I must be dreaming. I couldn't distinguish whether these people were human or not. But all I can say is that I was overwhelmingly frightened by the over-exaggerated mouths of these creatures. No, buddy. I smelled it through the screen. His breath stink. Yo. This man having sleep paralysis after he was kidnapped. Bruh. <laughs> he was kidnapped by all them figures, but they looked distorted because he having sleep paralysis. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, at this point, like, what can you do? How you wake up in a cage surrounded by aliens? He was abducted? No, 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 no. I fold it, I fold it. That shouldn't be the case. It shouldn't be the case. Let's get into it. They just kept tormenting me like, like I was a test subject in a lab experiment gone wrong. I knew it. Please, stop Abduction. it. Stop it. What the hell do you want from me? Leave me alone. That's when I closed my eyes and had a nostalgic moment. Almost like I went back in time. The hell was that? Did y'all just see that move? He got skin crawlers? What's that thing from the um 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 from the mummy's return? That little thing that crawls in your skin? Hold up. Time. Look. <laughs> Ew. Ew, what is that? He swallowed us. I remember a fly. opening my eyes and waking up to my bedroom. I can't live like this anymore. My body. Why does fly sound like it's in my ear, yo? And my bed sheets were completely drenched. He peed. His, I he was peed honestly the convinced that he was scared. That I was living in an alternate reality, trapped in a never-ending nightmare. Taking my prescribed meds really helped with my schizophrenic tendencies, as it would numb down the hallucinations that I experienced on occasion. My parents understood my condition, but my sister Jenny didn't. Me and her never got along growing up, as she would always tease me about my condition. Well, tease me about my other condition. I also have obsessive compulsive disorder, otherwise known as OCD. I had a disorder where I couldn't touch, taste, nor bear the sight of pineapples. 
I know this sounds quite bizarre, but it's haunted me throughout my existence. That man curled up in a fetal position in the shower. You know he's scared. You know he's scared when he do that. But this is why it's a horror story with pineapples, because he, I don't know. I don't know what disease or disorder that is, but he afraid of pineapples? That's crazy. It's arachnophobia for spiders. It's pineapple phobia for pineapples. I already solved it. I solved it. That's what you got, pineapple phobia. It might be a made up word, but I don't care. Because that's what he got. He got pineapple phobia. <laughs> he afraid of pineapples. He see him, he screams. He peed himself. <laughs> Because the people around him smelled like pineapples. I don't know. That's what that dream was about. He wasn't scared of the people. He was scared of the smell. He was like, pineapples? Oh, nah, I can't be around y'all. That's crazy. He got kidnapped by pineapple people. Crazy disorder, man. Pineapple phobia. Look it up. It was a compulsion that I had developed at an early age and have grown a great deal of disdain for. The tough segmented skin and the pointy leaves was always something I fathom as to why one could think such a thing was edible. I always thought a pineapple was equivalent to eating a porcupine. What? Just a pointy object that humans have to butcher down to consume. As understanding as my parents were about my condition, I still feel like there was an underlying favoritism towards my sister Jenny. Your sister look like she up to no good. Look at this face. Hold on. Let me run that back a little bit. Look at that. She knew she knew she what she was doing. She purposely picking on you, knowing your parents ain't gonna do nothing about it, cause look at them. Look at them. Look at the parents. They already they, they adore their daughter. They don't like you. So she like, yeah, I'ma torment you and they ain't going they don't they ain't gonna know a thing. You could tell them whatever you want and they ain't gonna believe you because I'm the favorite. I hate that. No, don't bully me in my own household. Do need to get a spine, huh? And towards my sister Jenny. I can tell they enjoyed Jenny's company more, as she was less high maintenance than myself, to say the least. Growing up in the same household as her really made me more uncomfortable than I already was. She would use my condition as fuel for her. You see, this is what I'm talking about. And she going to show him a picture of a pineapple. No, he's scared of him. Disrespectful. Look at this. And she got she got tattoo sleeves. And I guarantee she got a nose ring on the other side. I knew it. She She's terrible, yo. She a bully. You a bully. Why you bully me? That's crazy. Bullying antics. I remember when I was in school. Jenny would always text me when she arrived to pick me up. The annoying thing was that she intentionally texted the pineapple emoji as opposed to just texting I'm here just to get under my skin. I remember another time where I invited my You see, with that, all you gotta do is when you see a text from her, you, um, you put your notifications on only see when unlocked. So when she texts you, you see her name on, over there, you just assume that she's outside. Be like, oh, she just texts me. All right, she might be outside. Let me walk out. That might help you out, but she might be texting you saying, I'm running late. Don't walk out the door. But you'll never know because she's a bully. My friend Steven to come over to my place. They got me again. The RPG mobile hit of 2019. Oh. Now cross-platform on PC. Get your coins. Get your coins. Get your coins. Hey, Jenny. Can you order some food for me and Steven? What do you want? Anything but the thing you know I don't like. Please? How about I get you guys a pizza and two drinks? Sound good? Yeah. Thanks, sis. No. I would have said no off rip because you already know what your sister going to do. She's been tormenting you all these years. You think she's not going to get a pizza with pineapples on it? Even though I think that's the most disgusting thing in the world. What, what you eating pineapples on pizza for? A hot pineapple. I love pineapples, but there's a, there's a limit, yo. Come on. A hot pineapple? Go ahead. 
So I would she would have said, I'm going to get you a pizza and two drinks. No, 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 I don't want no pizza. I just want wings. Just give me wings because you can't give me pineapple wings. There's no way you can get pineapple wings. But I know you're going to get some pineapples on that pizza. I know off rip. I'm already thinking it because you're a bully. Dude, is that your sister? Yeah, why? Oh, she's hot. <laughs> Bro, stop talking to me. That's my sister. That's my sister. You a bully. She's a bully. I'll punch you out. That's crazy. I'd have talked to him. Yo, I'd be like, what you talking about, bro? That's my sister. At this point, you got something else in your mind. We we here to play the video game, and you talking about my sister's hot? Go ahead, yo. Man, what's up with him? I mean, she's got a lot, a lot of tattoos. Shut up, dude. Stop checking out my sister. Hey. Dude, I was just looking at her tattoos. She seems like a pretty cool person. She not. She not. She a bully. What'd that say? HSP? Ah! <laughs> or Shorts Party. That's who video this is. I, I like how they, I, <laughs> they put that tattoo on her arm. I like it. Huh. I like it. You wouldn't be saying that if you lived with her. Well, I only need to live with her for one night. Ow! I was just joking. Facts. About 30 minutes later, one night my sister. the pizza guy arrives and delivers the pizza. Here you go, boys. Eat up. I open the box, only to discover a pepperoni pizza. Top. I told you. She a, <laughs> I told you. You said, please don't order what I don't like. And she was like, I just order you a pizza and, and, two, and two drinks. You knew she was going to top it off with pineapples. She's a bully. Up with pineapples. What the hell is this? Why did you put pineapples on the pizza? Just tell your friend to eat the pineapples, duh. All the other toppings sucked. You suck. All the other toppings suck. You could have easily just got us a plain pepperoni pizza. You ain't have to put pineapples on it. You saying all the toppings suck. You could have... Just did pine, uh, pepperoni instead of pepperoni pineapple. Dummy. Come on, she did that purposely, yo. It'd be like, sis, what you mean all the, uh, all the other toppings suck? You could have just got a, a regular pepperoni pizza. But that's too plain. I don't want to hear that. You know I don't like pineapples. What's the point of that? You a bully. I wish you never lived. Oh. It's been a couple months since that incident. My hatred for Jenny has unfortunately become far greater as time went on. I was honestly convinced she had a compulsion herself for making my life a living hell. She got making a life a living hell phobia. No, 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 no. Having a good life phobia. That's all it is, man. She don't like y'all to have a good life. Seeing people happy phobia. She don't like to see that stuff. I'm making I'm making up phobias at this point, but come on, man. It should be real. A lot of people has that. A lot of people are haters out here. They got hate to see you happy phobia. Easy. There was this one occasion where the final straw was drawn. I have a quick favor to ask. Please request a ballot today so you can vote from your home. Okay. This election. <laughs> Voting from home is no. I remember watching TV in my bedroom. When I see Jenny lurking behind the doorway, holding a sheet of paper. Oh, that would have frightened the shit out of me. I'd have been scared. <laughs> no, no, I'd have been scared. I'd have, I'd have been sitting watching TV and I'd have seen at the corner of my eye, my sister like this at my doorway with that face swinging. I thought that was a knife when she swung it in like this. Behind the doorway. When she fought, swung it in. Partly, I thought that was like a butcher knife. I thought she was here to kill me. I'm like, hold up. What's up with you? That's frightening. That's a frightening thing to see. That's why I keep my door shut. If I see out the corner of my door while I'm sitting there watching TV, somebody standing there watching me like this. No, I'm. That's why, that's why I keep my door shut. Knock if you need me. Holding a sheet of paper. She began waving the paper at me while saying, Hey, Jake. I have two surprises I want to show you. And why she sound like that? It'd be a surprise if you moved out. Because I'd love that. 
Don't be rude. <laughs> I have a drawing I made for you. What is it? Jenny then reveals a hand-drawn picture of a pineapple with Spongebob on it. What the hell is wrong with you? Why can't you stop tormenting me? I have one more surprise for you. I got another tattoo. Jenny then lowers the sheet of paper, revealing a tattoo of a pineapple on her chest. Surprise! Get the hell out of my room, you freak! Alright, at that point, she, like, she taking it too far now. Like, she literally got a permanent tattoo on her chest. So when you talking to her, you see it. You see it right there. A permanent tattoo on her chest just to torment you. She inked her body just to make you mad. That's crazy. It's really something wrong with her in the head. That's crazy. <laughs> that laugh. I hate her. I hate her so much. I hate her so much. I hate her so much. Wow. A couple hours passed by, and it was time to go to bed. I couldn't sleep that night, as my blood pressure felt like it was at an all-time high. I could feel my head throb in pain as I became more irritated with the thought of my sister's existence. Why the hell would she get a tattoo of a pineapple? What kind of sister does that to her brother? It was about 1am in the morning when I ultimately decided to go to Jenny's room and confront her about her derogatory behavior towards me. While approaching her room, I can hear Jenny's voice subtly echo louder in my head saying, Surprise! Over and over again. Surprise! 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 Oh. I then open her bedroom door, only to see a pineapple sitting on top of her bed. Is this supposed to be another stupid orchestrated prank? That's when I grabbed a pair of scissors from the top of the nightstand and began piercing the pineapple over and over again stabbing and stabbing and stabbing but that's your sister good luck sleeping on top of this mess loser she was the pineapple she just looked like a pineapple wow is that the, is that the story she actually did because you thought that was just a regular pineapple but it was actually your sister sworn it was a pineapple. No. No. No, no, no. I didn't do anything. It wasn't me. I decided to close my eyes and recite over and over again in my head. Please be a dream. Please be a dream. Please be a dream. That's when I opened my eyes again, only to see myself back inside a steel cage. I was still in a white room, surrounded by hundreds of distorted creatures. Oh, they sent you to a mental asylum after that. But then my vision started becoming clearer. Oh, he was in jail. I knew he sent him somewhere. I realized that I wasn't in a cage. I was in a jail cell. Which is a cage. Those distorted figures weren't creatures. They were men in orange jumpsuits. I now remember. 
I am in jail for the murder of my sister Jenny. Wow. Wow. That was a oh, that was an awesome video. I like that. I like that. That was a, I like that. That was fire. That's why, because he afraid of pineapple. He thought his sister was a pineapple, so he chopped it up. It's like, I hope you like laying on that. No, she was laying on that, and you killed her. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I hope you like that reaction. I like that video. I did. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Like this video. Comment down below more videos you want me to watch. More horror videos you want me to watch. I want to jump out my seat. I want to jump out my seat. Even though that was kind of scary, I'm going to need some more. <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. I ain't going to hold you. Hit up all my social medias down below in the description. And I'm out. KB2.0, out. <laughs>